In this video, I'm going to show a cool trick using the untrim command from the surface menu. This is a useful method if you need to simplify a complex model back to kind of its basic shape. So let's take a look. So in this example part that I downloaded off of GrabCAD, uh, you can see that it actually has some curvature to it in multiple different directions. So you can kind of see how it arcs down toward the back and it's slightly different toward the front and it's got some shape in multiple different directions. And maybe we want to show like how this could be formed on like an MDF form, for example. And so I want to simplify this model uh, to kind of like its basic form. I could go in and select all of these features and delete them. But the tip I wanted to share with you is untrim surfaces. So I'm going to switch to the surface tab. And one of the first things I'm going to do is create what's called an offset face. Now I am going to use the outside faces. If I were creating like a mold, I would use the inside faces, but just to make things a little bit easier to see, I'm going to use the outside face. The process is exactly the same. It just makes it easier to see by doing the outside. So I'm going to click this outside face, say, okay. And if we expand open the bodies, you'll notice I now have a surface body. So I'm going to turn off the original. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and rename that original. And we have just this offset face. So it basically just grabbed the face. We offset it a distance of zero. So it's literally just copied the face. So now I'm going to go into modify and then untrim. And then I'll select this face. And notice what it did. It's basically taking that existing face and untrimming it. So it's getting rid of all the holes, etc. And then you'll notice there's an option in here to extend. So I'm going to go ahead and say, let's extend that 10 millimeters. And you can see how that face grew 10 millimeters. And I'll just say, OK. Let me turn on the original body. And now you can kind of see, sure enough, that face follows the original face, but we've extended it 10 millimeters all the way around. And it got rid of all of the holes and stuff like that that we don't need. It's literally almost like a sheet of paper bent in the correct direction. And that's kind of the trick here. So I'm going to rinse and repeat and kind of do that with all of these other faces. So I'm going to say offset. I'm going to select both of these faces here. I'm not going to click this curved one right now. I'm just going to leave those off for now. Let's do the um, untrim. And I can untrim both of these at the same time. I'll leave the extend of 10 millimeters. And if I turn the top surface on, we can see how by extending the 10 millimeters, we're getting these intersections. And that's what we want because we're going to end up trimming these back in just a moment. Okay, I'm going to continue. I'm going to capture this bottom face here. I want to grab this back face here. And let's go ahead and untrim those. So I'll select this little tiny sliver of a face and notice how it creates that large surface. And then I'll do the same thing with that face there and it creates the large surface and now we kind of have the overall underlying shape except for the front. Um, the reason I left the front off, I'm going to show you what happens here. I'm going to turn these other parts off. If I say offset and then untrim this, You'll notice that it untrims it into a solid, like cylinder. I shouldn't say solid because it's a face, but it turns it into a cylinder. And I don't want that to happen. So all I really need, I'm going to turn all of these back on, is this top edge to kind of cut through. So I'm going to use the extend option and just click this top edge and start to drag. Now there's a couple options 
We have tangent, which you'll notice does that. I can do perpendicular or I can do natural. And I'm going to leave it set to natural and say OK. And we now have a bunch of intersecting faces or surfaces, I should say. Let's go ahead and trim these back. Now the trim command is kind of interesting. So I'm going to click on this large face here. That's my trim tool. Then you'll notice it says select surfaces to remove. So if I come over here and I click on that face, you can see it kind of turns it red. So it's, it's keeping the face down here, but it's using this blue face to trim away the top part. So I can kind of keep walking around and using that blue face, I'm trimming all of those faces on the top. I'll say OK and you can see how those were all trimmed away. I'll do that again here on the bottom. I'll select that large surface and then I'll just click the intersecting faces and we get something that looks like this. Okay, now I want this face to kind of match these curves. So this is a little bit different. I'm going to pick this vertical wall and then this surface right here and you can see how it's going to kind of trim that back and I can't keep clicking along so if I do that it's going to trim everything away so this is kind of a single click so I'm going to click here and then trim away that surface and say OK and then do the same thing click on that surface say OK and it goes away so I'm just going to kind of repeat that process all the way around so I'll say that and that say OK we've trimmed those away and then kind of the same thing back here I'll pick this vertical wall here and then trim those say OK and then I might pick that and that that and that and then finally work on this front so there's a little extra face right here so I'm going to use this curved surface pick on that pick on that and then same thing with this I'm going to use that as my trim tool and select those two faces and we've now trimmed everything back if I turn on the original body you can kind of see how it sort of matches that original shape now these are all individual surfaces if I come in here and say stitch and draw a box around everything and say OK this is now a solid body I'm going to turn it off I'm going to turn on the original and I want to kind of match this fillet so I'm just going to click on that fillet and let's just do a quick inspect and I can see that that's six millimeter radius so I'll turn on this guy say fillet and let's just make that six millimeters and now we're matching the original so you can kind of see how it's almost exactly the same so this could be the start of my MDF form to start kind of shaping that metal that sheet metal part okay now what about these indentations here well I can use the existing indentations to help me modify my updated model so I'm just going to capture all of these faces so I'll just draw a quick selection box like so make sure I grab all of these faces um, now you'll notice it actually selected all the way through and I don't want that so here's a cool little trick in fact you'll notice it says 38 selected so in the select menu I'm gonna go into selection filters and turn off select through now when I draw my selection box like so it's only gonna grab the faces on the top and you'll notice it didn't grab the faces on the bottom and instead of 38 we see like 19 so I'm gonna go ahead and select those 
turn off the original. Let's untrim that surface there. Say OK, and it got rid of all those holes for me automatically. And then I can use this to modify my model. So I'm going to go back to solid and let's just say split body. What's my splitting tool? I'm going to say this surface. Say OK, and you'll notice a couple new things in the menu. So here's my body. Then we have the surface. I'm going to turn that off. And then here's the body that is split out. So I'm going to turn that off. And so here is the updated MDF form. In fact, I should probably rename that just so it's easier to understand. And here is the, the piece that was used to remove. So I could do the same thing uh, for this interior section here. It's the, pretty much the same process. To save time, I won't, won't do that. But hopefully you get the idea on using untrim to really quickly get back to kind of the basic shape of the design. So now we could put a piece of metal over this and kind of form that or stamp it or whatever uh, in this example. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe to be notified of upcoming videos. If you need help learning Fusion, visit my webpage at cadedllc.com. And as always, have fun learning Fusion.